the difficulties we go through, the hardship we face, get close to Allah, pray to Allah, pray for others, look at those who are worse than you, never look at those above you because that itself is a hardship, you won't survive it. You have a problem, let me give you some of the hardships people face today. Financial hardship, very difficult. The world is actually like a, a whole ship that is rocking at the moment. You don't know which way it's going to sway next. You have your money. While you're holding it, it's losing value. Imagine what type of a robbery that is. I'm holding it. It's in my hand, but it's going. I hold it tight. I sleep with it under my pillow. When I get up in the morning, it's half its value. What happened? Well, it's a hardship. How do I go through this? Usually financial hardship, we tell people to adjust their lifestyle because a lot of the times we are buying things we don't need. We are spending money based on what we used to have in terms of finance. Now we don't have that. So don't have the same buying habits. Call your family together and tell them, look, we are going through a little bit of hardship. We will have to remove you from that school because we cannot afford the fees. Be honest. It will help you survive. We cannot afford the fee anymore. So I'm going to take you out and we're going to put you into another school. Explain to them. If you don't want to tell your children that because you're too embarrassed, don't. But tell your spouse, explain to them and convince them somehow that we're going to take you out of the school and put you in another place. Sell the product to them. But you have to downgrade your life. It will help you through your hardship. If you don't and if you want to live on credit and you go to the banks and get the loans, that itself is a hardship. We won't be able to help you for that one because Allah told you not to do that. Whenever Allah has spoken about alleviating the suffering of people, he's never spoken about giving them money in order to solve their problems. Not once. He's spoken about giving them contentment, making them happy with what they have been given. But we've become materialistic. The whole globe runs behind the latest, the latest. It becomes such a bad habit, such a bad habit. The handbags must be the latest. The shoes must be the latest. The perfumes must be the latest. The car must be the latest. The phones must be the latest. The bathrooms and kitchens must be the latest. Everything must be the latest such that the day you don't have that level of finance, you are suicidal, let alone depressed. So one of the ways of helping yourself through financial hardship is by adjusting your life and don't be embarrassed to do that because you will be a role model to others. Role model. This is why we are taught that when you are wealthy, when you have position, be humble. One day it might go. If you were close to the ground, when you fall, you don't really get hurt. You stand up and you just walk again. But when you're flying in the sky and you fall, your balloon popped. Allahu Akbar, what happened? You came crashing down and as you fell, you broke all your bones. It was embarrassing. Now I can't even get up. That's why when you have it, you have the fame, you have the name, you have the wealth, you have... Humble yourself. Still greet the people. Talk to them. Be okay with them. You know, try and help as much as you can. Smile. Go to the masjid. Read in the first saf or whatever else. Be a man. I know of some extremely wealthy people who wouldn't miss a salah. I know of a brother who would not miss an adhan. Adhan. That means he's in the masjid prior to the adhan. Gone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us.